How's it going everyone, Shifty here and I'm back with another Destiny 2 video. If you're like me, you may have decided to delete your Crystal Crystocrine armor only to later realize you needed to fully unlock the perks from Varix. When I made the final push to unlock all of the Sabotage perks from Varix, I realized I didn't have 4 pieces of the Crystal Crystocrine armor. So I set out to find the best ways to get my hands on it. Before I get into the video, if you end up enjoying it or finding it useful, make sure to like and subscribe. I'd love to have you join my channel. Alright, so in order to unlock the Europan Gear 2, Europan Gear 3, and Europa Rewards 3, you need to complete various tasks while wearing at least 4 pieces of the Crystal Cream armor. You can't see the objectives here because I already completed them, but that's not what this video is about. This video is here to help you get the armor to do these tasks. Just a quick side note, if these unlocks aren't available, make sure you're caught up on the Stranger and Varix's quest lines. Specifically, I know you need to have a hard rain falls done for some of these. By far the easiest method to acquire the armor pieces is to do the quest that Varix gives you throughout the Beyond Light campaign. For example, I still have the Europa Helm quest which guarantees a crystal cream hood for my warlock. This requires you to find darkness locked chests located within the designated zones. In my case, I needed one chest in the Nexus area and two in the Well of Infinitude. When you find the chest, they look like this. When you unlock it, you get a piece of aged armor. When you've gathered the last chest in the designated areas, you will be tasked with heading back to Varix and you will get the specific piece of armor. However, this isn't the point of the video because I deleted most of the armor I acquired from doing those quests because the stats were so low. Now, we will move on to alternate methods to acquire the Crystal Cream armor. First, if you have your Open Explorer 2 unlocked, you can do Elected Difficulty Empire Hunts. When you go to select a difficulty, you'll notice you can get Crystal Cream armor from these. There is no chance with the Adept difficulty, a rare chance on Heroic, it's uncommon on Legend, and common on Master. Now, the only match made difficulty that you can actually get the armor on is Hero. Unfortunately, it's a rare drop. Let me tell you, I have run several of these and it is truly a rare drop. If you don't mind it taking a while to grind the armor out, then go for this difficulty. But, if you want to be a bit more efficient at getting the armor via Empire Hunts, then you may want to find a team to run the Master or Legend version. However, if you're playing solo and want a better way to get the armor than the Hero Empire Hunt, I can help with that too. Another way to acquire the armor is to find high value targets and defeat them. Specifically, I recommend finding them within the Cadmus Ridge region or the Eventide Ruins on Europa. The most common type you'll find is the Enforcer Briggs. Now, I have found high value targets in the Asterian Abyss, but often they are Vex and they don't drop chests that award Europan gear. While I was doing more testing on this, I drove back and forth between the Eventide Ruins and Cadmus Ridge area, and I was able to find 3 high value targets and get 3 separate pieces of Crystal Cream armor. And I did this in about 15 minutes. Now I can't guarantee this will be your experience, but it is possible to farm gear quickly. You can also get Europa weapons, which lowers your chance for the armor, but even if you're able to get chests every 5-10 to 10 minutes, I still think this is the fastest method. Alright, on to the last recommendation. If you have Europan Gear 1 unlocked, then the first heroic public event you complete each day in the Europa Eclipse Zone will drop a piece of Crystal Cream armor. This week that zone is the Asterian Abyss and you can always check by looking at your Europa map. One thing that you can do is to farm high value targets in the Cadmus Ridge area and the Eventide Ruins, then when a public event is available in the Asterian Abyss, head there to do that real quick then resume your high value target farming. Alright, well that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, make sure to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.